China's social media was full of comments about Liu's trial and sentencing. Link Asia's Beijing contributor Mark Dreyer joins us. Mark, what aspects of the case are people talking about? Well, a lot of people online have focused on the suspended nature of Liu Zhijun's death sentence. China still executes more people each year than any other country, but despite the rather dramatic-sounding death penalty that Liu received, the two-year reprieve will almost certainly mean it's commuted into a lesser sentence. But I have to tell you that net users, like many others, wanted the death penalty to be upheld. This person says, To execute Liu Zhijun will mean thousands of corrupt officials will no longer dare to take bribes, but not killing him will embolden thousands of them to go right ahead. The old suspended sentence gives them a get-out clause. And this person was even more damning, saying, Liu Zhijun's sentence is no doubt the darkest hour of China's legal history. The sentence is more serious than 10 of Liu Zhijun's crimes. This decision will spawn 10 million new Liu Zhijuns to sprout up. Chinese President Xi Jinping has vowed to get tough on both the so-called flies, or the low-level bureaucrats, and the tigers, the high-ranking officials. And state media in China have been quick to point out that Liu's sentence shows that Xi's administration means business. But many people online have been disappointed about how the tigers are being handled. One net user had this to say, referring to Liu as only a fly, not a tiger, and implying that others are far worse. Liu received a stay of execution at the first instance, and some people online said it was merely a fig leaf covering official corruption in China. This little fly received millions and billions, so if the flies receive the death penalty, how can we beat the tigers? Another person here was pretty cynical about the resolve of the government to crack down on this issue, saying, Our anti-corruption drive is not tackling both flies and tigers. It's using tweezers to catch flies and using a fly swatter to catch the tigers. Officially, Liu was given a lighter sentence because he confessed and showed remorse, which sparked a few jokers to say he should have had an even lighter sentence. But most people were either angry or sad. Many brought up the Wenzhou train crash, which happened on Liu's watch and left 40 people dead. Here's a typical comment. Liu Zhijun receiving a suspended death sentence means the people who died in the Wenzhou train accident will never be able to rest in peace. Well-known faces have also joined the conversation. Li Changpeng, a Weibo celebrity with more than 7 million followers, had this to say. People often debate whether China should abolish the death sentence. I'd rather China abolish the suspended death sentence. But my favourite comment is this one poking fun at the new leadership's much-discussed slogan, The Chinese Dream, suggesting that Liu Zhijun will become a role model for officials because he escaped execution and, at the end of the day, may get his sentence reduced. It reads, The verdict gives hope to all corrupt officials in China. Their Chinese dream is finally realised. All right. Thanks, Mark. Mark Dreyer from Beijing. Zhang Lifan is an outspoken Chinese historian with a wide following on social media. When Xi Jinping promised to erase corruption last March by rectifying the Communist Party, Zhang told Ling Geisha he believes the problem was so deeply rooted, ending corruption was nearly impossible. So, in the wake of the conviction of Liu, is Professor Zhang more optimistic? Uh, it's very likely that anti-corruption campaigns in the future will turn into a political show. Based on Liu's case, there will not be any effective anti-corruption action. Historically, there have been a lot of rectification campaigns within the Communist Party. The campaigns ended up as strategies to wipe out one's rivals. Because corruption is very common, any official is vulnerable to investigation. Therefore, rectification is likely to become selective, targeting certain people and driving them out of the political infighting. I don't think this kind of rectification will lead to integrity within the whole political system, since this rectification is not a systematic political reform. It's just the party's traditional strategy. In this case, rectification is still a self-criticism without a well-established system for citizens to supervise the government. This rectification is like a game in which you are the player and the referee at the same time. It's meaningless. Zhang Lifan is a historian and political commentator. He spoke to us from his home in Beijing.
U.S. airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.